The N1 with two Saturn V boosters attached may just be one of the most ludicrous designs I've ever made. Hello everyone, Karnasa here, and in this short I'll be teasing yet another upcoming video, 10 different designs to land a crew on the moon. If this short doesn't give it away, there's certainly going to be some odd choices on that list, so make sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified when the full video drops. Anyway, this rocket is more than capable of lifting the CSM and LEM to low Earth orbit. Of course it is, even just one of the Saturn V boosters could do that on its own. One major flaw with this vehicle was the fact that only the S1C stage on the boosters gets used. They are fully fueled, however, which is, of course, a complete waste of mass. I could in future modify the design to use the whole Saturn V, and that would probably end up looking even more cursed than this already does. But to put this into perspective, even with the Saturn V boosters attached, this rocket can't actually take an awful lot more to low Earth orbit than your standard N1 design. Sure beats the actual N1 in that at least it does make it to space. And that's why I can tell you with certainty 